Let's start. Today we will see how to implement element transitions in the CSS. In the body tag, we have several div, paragraph, h1, and h2 tags. We will apply different transitions to these elements. In the style tag, we have written their CSS. This is the style of the first div tag. Initially, its height and width are of 100 pixels, but when we hover over it with a mouse, its width increases to 300 pixels. But, the transition attribute is set to width 1s, s stands for seconds, so when we hover the mouse, the change in the width will start immediately, but it will take 1 second to complete the transition. If I had written 10 seconds, then the transition would have taken 10 seconds to complete. This is the style of the second div tag. Initially, its height and width are 100 pixels, but, when we hover over it with a mouse, its height and width increase to 300 pixels. But, the transition attribute is set to width 2 seconds and height 4 seconds, so when we hover the mouse, the change will start immediately, but it will take 2 seconds to complete the width transition, and 4 seconds to complete the height transition. This is the style for all the 5 paragraph tags on this web page. The transition attribute is set to width 2 seconds. So any width transition will take 2 seconds to complete. Here we have applied different transition styles for different paragraph tags like linear, ease in, ease out, etc. This is the style of h1 tag. Initially, its height and width are of 100 pixels, but when we hover over it with a mouse, its width increases to 300 pixels. But the transition attribute is set to width 3s, so when we hover the mouse, it will take 3 seconds to complete the transition. But the transition delay attribute is set to 1 second, so the transition will start after a delay of 1 second. This is the style of h2 tag. Initially, its height and width are 100 and 300 pixels respectively, but, when we hover over it with a mouse, its width increases to 500 pixels, and its height increases to 300 pixels. But, the transition attribute is set to width 2s and height 2s, so when we hover the mouse, it will take 2 seconds to complete the transition. But also, the transformation is set to rotate, and the transform transition is set to 2 seconds. So this element will rotate by a degree of 180, and this process will complete in 2 seconds. Let's run this code in a browser. So that's it. That's how you can implement transitions in the CSS. Thank you.